Despite the fact that we may not be able to meet face to face to congratulate and cheer this year's deserving Nursing Excellence Award winners, we are still profoundly grateful to each and every one of our winners, as well as our more than 300 nominees for their enthusiasm, their devotion, and their constant pursuit of excellence. Thank you for keeping that tradition of nursing excellence alive and thriving in today's challenging healthcare environment. This has been such an unusual year, but there's been no year where I have had greater appreciation and admiration for our nursing staff. Um, while we cannot be together in one room uh, to honor the, the excellent nurses throughout Health and Hospitals and to honor 27 nurses specifically today for the Nursing Excellence Award, um, I want to make clear that nurses saved so many lives uh, through the COVID pandemic. Thank you very much for this award. I'm grateful and humbled by it. I always believe nursing is a calling and I feel privileged and honored to be called to this noble profession. I want to thank Ms. Gifty for inspiring and pushing me to the limits in ways I never knew I could aspire to. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful. It is such a great honor to be considered for this award and humbling to know that I've been nominated by the hardworking team at Woodhall Hospital Ambulatory Care. The truth is, every nurse endeavors daily to make a difference in the lives of those around them. And that, in my opinion, is the foundation of nursing excellence. While I am proud of this accomplishment, I realize that this would not be possible without the support of my department and administrators, all of whom shine as living examples of nursing excellence in every aspect of their daily lives. I also want to thank my CNO, Ms. Gull, Ms. Munoz, Ms. Lin, all the nurses, including med surge, ICUs, B2, ED, other departments, social workers, doctors, therapists, who fought together in combating COVID-19 pandemic and continue to do so every day. Back in March, during the COVID surge, I was part of a team that brought to open a 350 bed at Roosevelt Island. Opening Roosevelt Island Medical Center was a rare opportunity for me to be able to respond in real time for the evolving pandemic. It was a blessing and gratifying to be able to serve the most vulnerable patients. It was the most rewarding moment in my life and something that I will not forget in my lifetime.